<laughs> You're on the start line of the Ironman 70.3 Staffordshire, the inaugural race, and we found out earlier this afternoon that this is your second ever triathlon. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> what um, is that about? I don't know. <laughs> um, I did one triathlon, which was the London triathlon, which is a sprint, and then I decided to go for the big one and do a 70.3, which is going to be my second, hopefully, if I cross this finish line, and then my third is going to be in five weeks, which is going to be a full Ironman. So I'm a bit extreme. I don't do things by heart, yeah. but I think I've got something a bit. Yeah, but you know really. what? I think once you start doing the training, you're going to get to the finish line anyway. I mean, if you, you, you said that you learned how to swim two years ago, is that right? Yeah. And then you did your first sprint uh, five weeks after that. I mean, yeah. you've had plenty of time for training for the 70.3 here for, uh, starting tomorrow. Yeah, and to be fair, I have put the work in. Um, I've really concentrated on the bike because I was so inex inexperienced with the bike that I kind of my gear changing was I just kind of sat on it and rode because I'm a runner and I love to run and the way I do sport is pure kind of aggression almost it's like yeah put everything into it try really hard but then sat on the bike I'm like oh you have to kind of think and be a bit more technical and work out things and then with the swim oh my gosh <laughs> I, I actually can't yeah. believe I'm doing it I went in the swim in the reservoir today um, just just to try and put my head in to see to, you know so I wasn't too scared about tomorrow and that sounds a bit but it is quite scary because you're in a reservoir and you can't see the bottom and it's freezing and it takes your breath um, I could not imagine even doing that two years ago. Like, never mind doing an Ironman, actually getting in a reservoir and trying to swim. So, you've come from a running background, but w has your um, favourite discipline moved away from running oh. now that you've <laughs> kind of sampled the other two areas? No. Not remotely. No, you're still, you're still a true runner. Yeah, so the way I'm going to race it is, okay, get through the swim, get through the swim, and then get on the bike. Okay, get through the bike, get through the bike, and then put my trainers on and go, oh, yes. Now I can start getting into my race. And you know what? Ninety percent of our athletes tomorrow will actually have the exact same race plan as you. Get to the swim, get off the bike, and get back here uh, to the finish line and put put a lot of effort into the run. But it's uh, it's fantastic to be here in Staffordshire. Um, it, it's great to race in England as well. Will you race yeah. abroad next year? Do you think, or will you stick? Will you stick with this? Do you think once you've done the Ironman, will you stay with us? Yeah, I think you, so. Uh, yeah, I think I'm definitely addicted. a convert. Um, yeah, around four years ago I did um, the London Marathon and somebody said to me, who is an Ironman and has been to Kona, you should definitely do triathlon, you should try Ironman because I love endurance. And I was like, no way, and no way am I even doing triathlon, forget it, forget it, forget it. And the fact that I'm here now, I feel so proud of where I've come, it just shows that anybody can because, uh, yes, I'm fit and yes, I run, but I, I'd never had a bike. I, I don't doing on a bike I kind of do now hopefully um, and the same with a swim so anybody can do it no matter what age and I think now I've got it in my head and I absolutely love it and you know you said to me if you change kind of what you really like and, and jokingly I was like no I love running I love running which is true but I really enjoy bike riding which previously I didn't and I remotely enjoy the swim not I'm not quite at a point where I really mm. enjoy swimming but I I'm proud of myself when I've done it because because I'm not a swimmer and it just shows that yeah anybody can do it and this one is brilliant because I think over 50% are race virgins mm -hmm. and it's the most women they've ever had it is at a half Ironman which I think is fantastic because I think it's quite daunting but you know we can absolutely do it it's fantastic the amount of women that are now progressing from the single disciplines right into the uh, into the multidisciplinary sports and there has been a huge uptake in the amount of women that are getting involved in sport as well which is fantastic for everybody across the board you mentioned earlier in the press conference about um, that the time of training that you spend training was your mental time away it was your time and there's no other time like at an Ironman or when you're racing and training for Ironman to, to train on your own and, and but to train with the club and things like that as well but there's lots of time in the training for longer distance races to get that headspace. Yeah, I think that's really important, especially for me. And my recommendation for anybody is take that time because we don't have the time to take the time. But if you take the time, you will create the time because you'll be much more efficient. You'll feel much better about yourself. And when I'm you know, out on my bike or when I'm running, that's my time to get to know me. And you don't get to know you and, and kind of better yourself or grow as a person if you're all the time kind of frantically running around. And I'm frantic, I am. Like, I'm always running around, I'm always like this. I do everything at 100 million times space. I leave everything to the last minute. I'm always like that. So for me, it's really important because when I'm running, when I'm on the bike, when in the swim, I can't do all that. So I'm, I have to be with myself and that's how I grow and I, I, I get to know myself better and, and I become more confident about, about who I am, which then converts into the confidence in the rest of my life in everything. And it's great to have the opportunity to get out and train. We're very lucky that we can actually do this. 
Charlie, I wish you the best of luck for tomorrow. Thank you. We're going to welcome you down the finish line. Yay. Your very first Ironman 70.3 in the beautiful grounds here of Shugborough Estate. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on the start line in the morning. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining.